main priority in gym flooring when I'm setting up a gym is member safety. We want something that members can be on. They can do uh, all sorts of dynamic movements from Olympic weightlifting to burpees and know that they're gonna stay safe. Second, we want something that looks good and the aesthetic of our Nike grind flooring has been awesome. It's a lighter color. The members really enjoy it. It gives a less severe look to the gym also. Wear and tear for us is important. We need a floor to be able to withstand a lot. We've got guys, you know, putting 400 pounds over their head and dropping the weights. So when barbells drop from overhead, we're not seeing the same kind of bounce off of a thin floor laid over concrete. Um, and so th those have been really nice. I think acoustically it also stays a little quieter uh, because of that extra layer of padding underneath. I do like the uh, aspect of the flooring that we're also recycling and using some of the uh, old rubber from Nike shoes. Nike's been a great partner of ours, and so to be able to reuse that product, to be able to align with Nike in something as simple as our flooring that our members are on every day is, uh, is a cool benefit for me. Installation of the flooring was pretty simple. It is two layer process, so you'd hear one layer, it here another layer on top. For us, it was seamless. We had a great group of guys in here doing it, and it worked out really well. And two, three days later, our floors were in and ready to go. Our members love this floor. Um, they love that it's uh, a little softer. They love that they can uh, you know, put their knee down to do lunges and stretch and not have to uh, add any padding under it. And they also love the look of it. They love that it's a little bit lighter and it gives the gym a nice look and feel.